Mina-san, konnichiwa, and welcome to Attack and Six Retrospective. So this is like a little retrospective and commentary on the legacy. So thank you for joining me. Anyways, this is Tekken 6, and this is considered one of the worst Tekken games, or many people would say it is the worst Tekken game. And I'm going to tell you all about it. So first off, Tekken 6, did I say Tekken 7? I meant Tekken 6. Tekken 6 is the, um, it's like Tekken 5, now Tekken 5 was great, it sold well, it had lots of things. Tekken 6 has what Tekken 5 has, and that's the character customization. So there's a lot of good customizations in this. There's loads more variety uh, which you can customize your character with. And it has that from Tekken 5. It's got extended and expanded movesets from Tekken 5. So there's a lot more, a lot more stuff to it that, and. Um, well, it, well, it's got now. I'm playing as Lars. Shut this Lars because yeah, it shut this Lars. Yeah, but um, what it does, what what this has that Tekken Five doesn't have is that it's got Bound and a new combat mechanic called Rage Mode. And Rage Mode is the worst combat mechanic ever. And I'm going to show you how bad it is. First off, when the opponent's health gets to like a little bit there. See, Rage Mode did nothing. Rage Mode did absolutely nothing there. When you take a lot of amount of uh, um, health, I was going to say ammo, ammo, health. When you take a lot of health off the opponent and it's a little bit like to the point where it becomes great, just a little sliver, they go into Rage Mode and Rage Mode gives them a power boost or an attack stats or an attack buff. Again, and <laughs> Rage Mode does nothing because it's, again, like, I've beaten people with Rage Mode so many times, they've activated Rage Mode, and I've beaten them, and there are those who have beaten me by, well, you know, when I've entered Rage Mode, I've been beaten, it's, it makes no difference, it's a really bad mechanic, and it's only luck. Or something to do with the fight. It's the way the fight is. That, that's probably the worst. It's hard to explain. It's not a comeback mechanic whatsoever. Comeback mechanics are supposed to be in integrated into the gameplay and change, change it. But this changes the matter. Like it only changes the matter. This rage mechanic and also the loading screens are the worst loading screens in Tekken history because look at look at this look what am I looking at and then you see the, the 3d models of the characters and there's no need for it I, as soon as I seen it I thought it was garbage I didn't like it I just thought what what's with the 3d no I don't like it just quick simple bam a best game the greatest games are the ones where you are playing it, you're not waiting for the loading time or the load screens. The best games are the ones where you are playing it and it's worth playing it. So the loading screens are really bad. So Rage Mode, which is completely redundant to the point where it only changes, oh this guy's on Rage Mode, his attacks are stronger now. I got to play more defensively, or I have to play more of offensively and attack him before he can get takes takes me out. But yeah, it's it's the worst. It is the worst combat mechanic I've ever seen in a fighting game. Seriously, it's just not. It's ridiculous. It, it adds nothing new. It just changes the doesn't change nothing at all. So I juggle. He went in rage mode. Bam. Simple. Completely stupid. Anyway, that's enough of Rage Mode. The second mechanic is Bound. And the Bound mechanic is a juggle, extended juggles. So, is it a juggle? Extended combo, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, it extends combo extensor. It, it just changes the combo. I don't know, it's. You can launch the opponent in the air, you do a little move. And I'm really bad with Lars, I'm, I don't know his moves, so I'm just casually playing it. But yeah, can't really show you to be honest. But yeah, you do a bound and it's 
you launch the opponent, you do a little combo, they bound on the floor, which is like a bounce, it's more like a bounce. But it's not really a bounce, it looks like they're floating on the floor and it looks stupid and a sound effect shows you that, oh it's a bound. It, uh, it's, it's just really bad. I know, it's, some people like it, I like the extended combos, I like the juggles, I like it. But I know this is when I started to dislike it because I, I don't like overly long juggles or when my opponent's helpless. I, I don't like the idea of my opponent being helpless. I always like to be on the edge and think my opponent can attack me anytime or can counter me. And I think that's really good. And that's just my opinion. But um, the combo extenders and the bounds. It, it just adds that more button bashy feeling of the other combo, but we're like, yeah, I'm just knocking the living crap out of this person. Yeah, bam, bam, KO, and it makes you feel good. That's why I don't really like combos, like, when your opponent's helpless and can't fight back. It makes you feel good, but it just makes the opponent, I don't know, it makes them feel angry or salty. But then again, that's all it was. It didn't really change the whole thing. It just, it's still, if it still felt like Tekken 5 and that's why this is the most disappointing Tekken game for me because it didn't seem new, it didn't look new and as soon as it came out, I think about a week or two, uh, I started to realise can I just have Tekken Tag please? Can I have Tekken Tag 2? I want to see what they do with Tekken Tag 2. You know, uh, you got some nice characters now and I, I just thought there was nothing new to this game. I found it really boring tell you how boring it was. I like played it again and I just stopped playing it. And I was like, didn't finish arcade mode. I went, yeah, just, yeah whatever. But um, the music is said to be one of the worst in, in the Tekken franchise. I wouldn't say it's the worst, but I say it's very bland. I felt like this stage music is um, strings and orca orchestra. And it doesn't feel like a, to me, it doesn't feel like a fighting game theme. It, it's, uh, and again, this is uh, when Tekken 6 became much more like anime. When I mean anime, I mean the character started becoming quite anime-ish. Like Lars, for example. He doesn't look like a fighter. He doesn't look like someone in a martial arts tournament. He looks like someone in an anime. And Alyssa, which is like basically rip-off of She the Ultimate Weapon. Yeah, is um yeah, this is based off she the ultimate weapon, some cyborg girl. She's fight anime ish as well. So Tekken's always been anime ish, but it's always been a fighting game as well, like a bunkers fighting game. I would say it was inspired by anime. It never went full flat out anime ish. It, it wasn't just inspired by it. Ah, uh, I like it. But I don't know that's they lack character, they don't... I don't know, I was surprised with Alyssa though. Alyssa Buskanovic. Because... I knew she would appear in the game. I felt like, oh, she's the daughter of Dr. Buskanovic. It seems interesting that she's finally appeared. But I was surprised that she was a cyborg. I was like, what? Like, I'm really surprised. No, she's not even that, she's a robot. She's not even a cyborg, she's a complete actual robot. Character customization is okay in this. I mean, it's pretty decent. I find it. Many people say it's better than Tag and Tag 2s. But I just feel it's just. The music. I like this stage as well, and the music's kind of nice here. But there was, there was nothing memorable with the music. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to edit the uh, loading screens, loading times, because the loading times are ridiculous, I'm not, I'm not, it's just not fun to watch, so there. Uh, I do like shut those Lars, he does look kind of cool, actually I kind of hated Lars when I seen him, I was like, Hayashi's illegitimate son, and I was like, oh no I liked it, and then there was something, no I liked him as a character, but I didn't like his costume. I thought his costume looked stupid. I think him as a character, if he wore a karate gi or something, then yeah, I would probably have more respect for him. But 
just the cape. It was ridiculous. It, it didn't look like a, like a military soldier's outfit. It just looked like some stupid superhero outfit. But uh, it's when like the scenario campaign mode, which is like an extension of tanking fast mode, like a beat 'em up game style game where you just like go around the world and you just slaughter all these people. And it was fun for like. 10 seconds but then it got really boring and it's the only way in the game to get huge amounts of money so you can't really get lots of money or points playing the game the actual main version of the game which is this you gain money by playing the bonus mode which is scenario campaign or the story mode and that's just not on that's not that's just stupid and I really didn't like how that took the spotlight and then he ended up beating my favourite character, Jin, and it's like, I, I was like, what are you doing with the story? I, I, is this like a new legacy thing now, like, oh, the new hero is going to be Lars, and I just felt, I didn't like it, I really didn't like it. Uh, I I get it with Jin, I went, okay, Jin was always supposed to be the fallen hero, he was going to turn him on, like, he was going to be like his daddy, I get it. Oh yeah, I forgot that, Alyssa's Alice, uh, a... Uh, the sub boss in this. Oh yeah, speaking of sub bosses. Okay, we got a list, so I think at last is a sub boss as well. After this you got a bonus stage mode called um Nancy. Now Nancy is a freaking giant tank like robot. Worst thing they ever did was one it's it's supposed to be invincible and strong and this is a hard to beat thing. You are lucky to beat this, that's the challenge. See if you can beat it. If you can't beat it it's completely over. The worst thing about Nancy is that it's a freaking machine. It hasn't got full limbs. All characters in this game have full limbs, except for the bosses. And uh, Nancy. Nancy's a machine. It's a trial and error bullshit kind of thing. It's you have to read it. In order to get good and beat Nancy in most most of the time. It's like you've learned the moves how to beat Nancy. And let's move where it fires a freaking laser and rockets and you can't read it as a normal human. You can't read it. It's not a human character. You can't read it. So all the basics, this thing here, of all the basics, it's gone, it's gone to total garbage. It's just, no, I'm, it's gonna, I'll show you right now. That's, and you can't read that, you don't know. Now it's doing its missiles, and I normally size that. And it's an aerial, not aerial, it's an area based. That thing, I, ca I can't even react to that. As I'm trying to beat it, it's it's ridiculous. And you're trying bash bones and doing your combos and stuff, and then it does like little move with the laser and you fall through the floor. Bullshit. Seriously, I, I did not like it just an awful awful thing for some reason I thought Nancy was gonna be a female Jack and then it was oh it's Alyssa okay we're up against Jin Kasama and uh, now I like Jin Kasama as the boss not the final boss but I really did like the fact that I was like okay we have Jin it's kind of like Sue and I was thinking there was Jin no I knew straight away that Asusa was the final boss and I was like what that was a bit weird so I seen some like footage of it so it's a bit, wouldn't Delvajin be more appropriate? Now what the, what makes Jin pretty difficult, he is quite difficult. But once you know his moves and how to counter him, it's quite simple and easy. But uh, Jin's automatically on rage mode as soon, as soon as the bell starts. So he's got a um, an attack buff, so he's stronger than you. And that's just piss poor difficulty, I, I just think uh, how do we make him stronger? Just give him rage mode. How do we make him hardcore? It's like, okay, and then I, I don't know. It's it should the final boss should have been Devil Jin. I love the area here, the kind of goggles perch, but I don't like the music to it. The only music I like is Electric Fountain or Karma, as it's called. That that's the only music I like to this game. The rest, it just it doesn't feel like tacking, it doesn't feel like that like, dance track, like boom, 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 like, you know, like, 
or the trance music or like you know like jazzy stuff or whatever it's just it's just awful it's Tekken 5 if you haven't played Tekken 5 probably play Tekken 6 get it it's virtually the same game in some ways now this guy here this is the monster in every sense of the word for one it's got a tail it's not full limbs you can't grab it you can't throw the damn thing he throws you he's got an RNG thing or something an RNG block thing or something so he's got auto block he hasn't got blocking animation so you can't really counter him or there are counters but it's not it's hard to read it's like they said that's my the most bullshit boss ever the most stupid boss ever that's overpowered more worse than Jinpachi Jinpachi was the limit Jinpachi is the limit that's that's as far as, as you should go for cheap bosses in attacking game to make it even more worse this is just downright broken the size of it is massive so and it's the lights as well it bright it glows so it's really hard to read because I can't tell what body part is swinging I'm like that the frames on that as well when he does his spinning tail move and, and when you floor him he teleports in the air and, and just falls down on you and when I first seen that I was like oh you gotta be kidding me fuck really um, this is the worst boss I've ever ever played in a fighting game it is it, it, it's not hard he's broken it's luck it just takes luck Continue. and I'm gonna end it here anyway so thank you for watching